Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Should, is it, do you believe it is logical for me to accept A without evidence of A based on the fact that I can avoid the logical fallacy of even, we, haven't even begun, we, we haven't even begun to discuss that issue. The issue at hand is this. Is your atheism coherent, yes or no? Yes. Okay, now, your opening line of reasoning, was it a fallacy defending the coherence of atheism? My opening position was that yeah, this favor. If this would is you like to, shame, would I like, would you like me to give a different and argument? We're not, we're not dealing with Since them. we get, keep okay. going nowhere here, I can Hold try a, a different second. argument if you prefer. This isn't your Discord yeah. server. Praise, praise, praise I am. Please, please remove him. This, this Are you guy kidding me? Hi, Smokey. Clown. Are you kidding me? Yeah, You're is... a joke if you can't okay, have listen him to even me. being Every in time I've had to deal with this guy, he's an unhinged a -hole. You were unhinged in the last right. now, conversation. Now, the fact that you had a a -hole. Not not yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. asking you as a friend, please remove as a friend. Friend. You don't have friends. You, you have minions. conversation here. You don't have friends. You have just minions. Praise, I'm asking you. He is just ruining the interaction. Please remove I wasn't going to say anything. Praise. Yeah. I'll ask you again. You addressed please me. I him. wasn't going to say anything. Uh, okay, I, listen I, to I, would, I understand, please. Her, but he's a buddy of mine, too. I just can't Okay, okay. Him. Listen, listen to me. Well, he's untrustworthy, okay? He's unhinged. He's unruly. And he makes the most uh, outrageous accusation of, uh, of, of, of um, somebody who's a great theist. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm no I, I have in the past. Where, where, where I can actually have you, a second. I'm asking you so as a bad. friend, if you want yeah. to invite him on after See, I'm See, he over, wants a room where he can overtalk me over, and can't let me talk. Are you going to keep him in the room or remove him? Wow. I'm keeping him in the room, Doris. And okay, like, hey, 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 praise. I won't be back to your channel, okay? Wow, I really? Ask you politely. Are you yeah, a child you like that? Really? You're a child like, wow. That's incredible. I mean, That's the most childish me, thing I've ever seen. You me to, I'm, I'm taking smoking every time. Man. You're, you're my I, buddy. You're my brother. Well, thanks, Christ. praise. I, I, you know, I didn't mean to put you in a spot like that. No. I wasn't expecting oh. that. I wasn't even expecting I would never oh, make no, such, I saw, such a I bombastic... I would yeah. never make such a bombastic, childish. Have I ever told you to really remove anyone from a stream with me, except maybe P Mars? I don't think I've ever asked you to remove never. anyone. P, from P Mars is a good removal. You, I, I don't blame. I don't think Mars you're ever wrong if you ask for P Mars. To yeah, P, P Mars is acceptable removal. <laughs> I love Doris. I do. I love Doris, but I mean, he can't put me in that choice to put me. Doris, in like shame it. on you. That was very childish and cruel and unethical for you to even put. Prey so, in that praise. Spot. There was praise. No I, I, got, I got one for you. Praise. Shame on you. Um. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. Oh, by the way, I won't be showing up on Praise IM's YouTube channel anymore. Okay. I was just on there and I was talking with a complete moron atheist, and he brings on Smoky Saint. Oh, brother. And I, I, I asked him to remove Smokey Saint while I was there, and he refused to do it. And I said, this guy is unhinged. He's a lunatic. He doesn't know what he's talking about. All right? I said, he's called Cornelius Van Til a, a, um, a degenerate. I said, the man had an impeccable character. He speaks out of complete ignorance when it comes to criticizing biblical presuppositionalism. Right? And praise I am refused to to remove him until I left. So I just told praise I go. You know what? I'll never be back. I don't. I don't know what's wrong with praise that he would he would suck up to, uh, or be friends with Smokey Saint. Smokey Saint is a pig, right? right. And he has to learn the hard way, I guess. Yeah, I mean Smokey Saint is 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 beyond a pig. Yeah. Yep. He's 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 an he's an unhinged, arrogant lunatic. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. I've butted heads with um with Smokey too. And I I know praise is his channel's like devolved quite a bit recently. He's made a few bad decisions, but yeah, Smokey's just a clown. And, and you know the atheist that I was talking to was just babbling incoherently, and praise wouldn't even step in and moderate. And it just turned into a verbal cluster fuster. The guy had the mind of an ADD uh, uh, kid, 15-year-old, and he wouldn't step in and moderate. What was the name? Who was the atheist? What was his name? 
he was he was some idiot who was just just a a a, a motor mouth. See, when when they can't when they can't converse in an adult manner, they just become motor mouths, like they're 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 uh, at the eighth grade cafeteria table. It's it's beyond me that praise I am has been so bamboozled by that piece of garbage, Smokey Saint. It's just it's just amazing. I mean, just think about it, Matt. Not that we worship at the altar of Cornelius Van Til, but we have a lot of respect and ab- admiration for the man. He left. He he led an impeccable life from a human standpoint, and yet Smokey Saint comes along and calls him a degenerate. I mean, that is that is beyond disgusting. Yeah. You know, Sorry. there are there are rumors circulating about Smokey Saint, which I won't repeat mm-hmm. because nothing has been confirmed or, or verified. OK, yeah. so because I've been the victim of false rumors and, and slander statement, even someone I, who I despise and I figure believe is a completely disreputable person that I think it would be equal, equally wrong. Right. Yeah. But here's a guy who has scandalous rumors circulating about him, which I'm not suggesting they're true. I don't know whether they're true or false. And yet he defames Cornelius Van Til as a degenerate. And then when I asked him to instantiate that, he gave the most cockamamie defense. It was, it was, just, it was just beyond belief. And then praise I am is, is fooled by this guy? <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah. And I told Praise, I said, I won't be back to your channel again. I said, I, I, I borderline begged him to remove this disreputable individual, this troll, this pseudo intellectual. Yeah. And, and he, he wouldn't do it. OK. Now, if 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 I came in after him. You know, I would know full well that he was there. Yeah. But he brings him in after the fact, knowing how much bad blood there is between the two of us, and that I've made very clear accusations of Smokey Saints' outrageous chronic conduct. Yeah, and he still he he he, he praise wouldn't even say okay for the, for the sake of getting along, Darth. You have another twenty minutes here. Then in twenty minutes, I'm going to let Smokey Saint on, and then he can he can speak, and if you want, you can leave. Which I would have respected that. But no, he wanted he wanted to keep Smokey Saint. Why somebody would want to kiss Smokey Saint's ass, I have no idea. The next day, you you, you said you understood Van Til. Can you give me an explanation? I'll be silent while you're giving it. I did. I did on those two videos. No, I want you to give it right now. I will be no. silent. Give me no. your explanation of um, Van Til's view on autonomous reasoning. I already did that in the video, so I'm not going to... No, no, I want you to give it to us right now, because I didn't hear your explanation of it. Would you give it to us right now? I will be silent while you are giving that. Okay, sure. Autonomous human reasoning is just the, the creaturely perspective, the personal autonomous human reasoning negated of an ontology. No, that is not that is not how Van Til expresses it. Okay. Okay. How does he have you have you read no, any? No, have no, you no, read? No, please no, do no, not no, over talk no, me. You're no, not no, going to no, get no, away. No, you're not no, going to get away with over talking here. I don't want to have to mute you. Okay. Right, now, done. have you okay. read? Good. Run away. you and we, you by you leaving, we'll show you you're a fake, he a funny, and a fraud. Now, okay. Now, please do not over talk. Please do not over talk. Please do not over talk. Hey, I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's. Instead of this being this way, um, I would no, be No, this ha- is what he does, on, James. Huh? This is what he does, James. I, Listen, I, I, let, let, I, James, I, I James just s- let it rest for a second. Smokey, well, I, known, I, I want to s- ask you a question. Have you read what is that? any of Ventura's primary work? Darth, I just want to say, I'm not, just had a, I'm not, you know, most outrageous and bombastic people uh, attacking biblical presuppositionalism. All I want to know from Smokey, have you read any of Van Til's hey, books? Darth, what, I would, Darth what, I, what, I'm, what I'm offering to do is something more productive than this turning into like you yelling at Smokey for the next 10 minutes. I'm not, I'm not yelling at him. I'm raising on, my I'm, voice because he's over talking. I'm just saying is that I have a YouTube channel where, where I can host debates. And okay, well, yours... I, well, fine. We can talk right now. I'm asking Smokey. Have you read any of Van Til's books? 
I'm not going to answer his question, so the answer is mine. Okay, see, see, he's a fake, a phony, and a fraud. This is a guy who gets up on his YouTube channel, and he defecates on biblical presuppositionalism, and he hasn't even read. Have you read any of Greg Bonson's books? I read books? all of them. It, it does Which did you read? Which did you read? I just told you, Darth. I read all of them twenty years ago when I discovered that this was the, the play. Okay, the you read you play. read which which book of Van Til's? I still I don't have my answer, my question answered. By the way, he's now he's not going. Yeah, go yeah. Listen, listen, listen to me. You're not going to get away with this, okay? Which of Van Til's books did you Nothing read that was most memorable to you? He said I was wrong about presuppositionalism around. All I'm asking you a question. Things. You're not listen. You're not going to get away with what you usually do, okay? This <laughs> bait and switch. <laughs> Two days later. By the way, if anyone else wants to raise their hand and come up and agree or disagree, ask questions, okay? Yeah, come on up, Smokey. Let's see if you can act like a human being. Yeah, good. Then get the hell out of here. Okay? You have mental problems, dude. Okay? People have sent me clips of your recordings. You do not understand Ventilian apologetics. Reading that paper, which I have does not make you understand it. By the way, uh, I got some bad news for you. When you cited something, okay, you made a couple of mistakes that you're not even aware of. But since you don't want to come up, get the hell out of here. Oh, you want to come up? Come on up. Why don't you even want to, like, just let me even listen, Darth? Like, what is up with that? Okay, so, so Smokey, you, told, you stated that you took a seminary course on apologetics. Is that correct? Uh, several of them. Sure, one of them was an apologetic. Okay, what, semin what seminary? Yeah, no, I don't release private information like that. Oh, it's not private information because seminaries are public institutions. Yeah, but I couldn't. I don't, it would. It, yeah. I don't. Okay, so well, I think you're full you of shit. Like I think you you're lying. Seminary. I'm not going to answer that. No, I, I've never made that claim. Oh, okay? you never went to seminary. Now, for, okay. So, for example, so so you claim, you claim that, um, um, did you purchase, uh, Van Til's books? Um, seminaries have something called libraries. Right. And you and and on one occasion and on one occasion, you said you read all of them. And then on another video, you said you didn't. Can you explain that? Well, yeah. When you were just uh, interrogating me and saying, how many did you read? How many did you read? How many did you read? And you wouldn't answer any of my questions. Yeah, you're Philip. You're Philip. You're filibustering. I'm just telling you what happened. OK. So. OK. Now. OK. Um you were quoting that paper. I downloaded the paper, okay? And you remember that you said you were quoting Van Til? Which, uh, which remember part? that? Okay. Do you remember you quoted a book? Several times, yeah. There were several. Different right. Books. And what was what was the title of the book? One of them was Pushing the Antithesis by Bob. No, no, that's not what you were referring to. Um, you were, you were, that, by, by the way, that, that book only recently came out. Um, okay. Okay. I'm talking about one of Van Til's books in the paper. You cited it. Uh, well, there was, um, let's see, there was Defending the Faith. Um, there was Epistemology. Um, there was um, Metaphysics of Apologetics. There was. Okay, yeah, you, uh, that's the one. That's the one that you cited. Okay. okay. Do you have a copy of that book? Um, Metaphysics of Apologetics? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Um, so the quotation that was taken, uh, do you know that it was in context? Um, okay. I said, do you know that it was taken in context? Do I know if it was taken in context? Mm -hmm. I mean, I have every, I don't think there was any context that would have changed what it said, but if you know, okay. So, so I you didn't, so you, you don't have a copy of that book, right? Do I have a copy of Metaphysics of Apologetics? No, I mm -hmm. personally physically do not have a copy. Mm -hmm. I read it, as I said, 20 years ago in seminary. So. Oh, you, you read it 20 years ago in seminary. I already said that. I said that. Okay. Okay. And could you, t uh, okay. Now, um, I'm finding that difficult believe because that material was not, it was, it was not a mass market publication. 
Okay, we had several things of Van Til, Bonson, Whitfield that okay. I weren't necessarily thinking were put were you know put out in publication. We had stuff given to us. I'm not sure if you know, but seminary libraries are generally given by private people who have libraries who then give access to their materials so that the students mm -hmm. can learn. That's how mm -hmm. our library was compiled. So I would, right, right. So you so you read you read that book twenty years ago. I I'm not even sure if it was actually a book. It was part of the collection of uh right. papers did you, did you read it piled together well yes stars again i read i read a multiple chunks of various uh resources that we had on cornelius van till in fact i'll admit that i didn't read much bonson uh because that then, was can you explain to me then if you've read all of van till many of van till's works how is it that you have gotten uh so much of van till's thought including the idea of autonomous reasoning incorrect well, can you explain that to me that's just a claim. I, I played your that's, no that no that today. that's not a claim. That's a question. Yeah. Well, Darth, I played your contradiction today, where in other rooms you say that humans do have autonomous human reason. Okay. Well, well, you're now you're now changing the subject. Okay. Now, no. if you want to, if you if you want to bring that up, I'll be glad to discuss that momentarily. Okay. When I asked you to give me an explication of Van Til's um, use of the term autonomous reasoning and how it applies. You didn't. You didn't accurately. You didn't even come close. Well, it just, I guess it just depends what day we ask you. No, no, no. I said to you, give me your best rendition of your understanding of Van Til's concept of autonomous reasoning. Now, having read many, if not most, of Van Til's works so far, and I plan on completing them as well as many of Bonson's material. You didn't even come close to representing the Vantillian conceptualization and definition of autonomous reasoning. Now, if you understand Van Til's thought, how is it that you didn't accurately represent Van Til's concept of autonomous reasoning? Uh, I believe I did, actually. Good, right good. Well, give, it, give it to me again right now. Yeah. What is Van... In fact, what, well, what, I'd like to avoid what happened last time, Darth, if I could. No, you know, this is not your room. You're not going to filibuster. I asked you a question, or and if you don't want to answer it, you can get the hell out. Now, I would like for you, you're not going to pull the usual shtick that you do. Okay? Now, I want you to repeat again, what is Vance Till's concept of autonomous reasoning? Is it different than the general philosophical one? Give me Van Til's conceptualization of autonomous reasoning. I don't, I don't know whether I'm supposed to give you just Van Til's or the one that's actually part of general. Philosophy. I want you to give me Van Til's understanding, definition, and conceptualization of autonomous reasoning. Okay. Now, again, Darth, is it I, – I, I can't just answer it. Like, can you tell me, is it different from the general philosophical okay. definition? Okay. Do you understand when Van Til invokes the term autonomous reasoning – do you understand what Van Til means by um, that? If he means the way the rest of philosophy does, then yeah. Now, now listen, Sm Smokey, listen. I wasn't born yesterday, okay? If you think you're going to bullshit your way out of it, it's not going to work. I wasn't born yesterday. I will ask you again. And by the way, you do know that somebody's recording this in here. It's going to go up onto YouTube. Now, I hope so. I want to – yeah, you're full of crap. Now, I want you to explain to me – what is Van Til's uh, definition and conceptualization of autonomous reasoning? You told me you read many of Van Til's works, right? Correct. Do you have a correct understanding of Van Til's concept of autonomous reasoning? Well, I guess since he rewrote it for himself, maybe I don't. Okay. Do you have a – you have been boasting – that you understand Van Til, you have boasted that you understand his apologetic. Autonomous reasoning is a key concept within Ventilian theology and apologetics. Do you understand Van Til's conceptualization of autonomous reasoning? Um, it depends. Yeah, it's paradoxical. You have to. I guess you decide which contradiction you want to take as to his. Do behavior. you understand? You see, you're bullshitting again, I mean, you and you are royally. Himself. Do I not over talk me, question. or I will boot you from the room. If you behave himself. badly, if you behave badly, like you have on many other occasions where you turn into an absolute mental case, I will eject you without warning. Okay. Now I have asked you how many times now. Many multiple times for you to to give me Van Til's concept of autonomous reasoning. Now, 
Do you You're have a correct understanding? Here, Please do not over talk me. Do you have a correct understanding of Van Til's concept of autonomous yes, reasoning? Yes, both contradictory ones. Yes. Okay. Now, now. Okay. You don't. You don't need to posture. Okay. I'm really not. I really don't give two craps about your evaluation because I know from listening to you, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Now, give me what Van Til's concept of autonomous reasoning is. Okay, Van Til's, not the rest of philosophy, but just Van Til alone concept of autonomy is that God himself has autonomy because everyone else's reasoning flows from Van Til and no one has any actual autonomy. Everything flows from Van Til? It flows from, I'm sorry, flows from the ontology of God, sorry. Apologies. So, so there is no actual human autonomy. There is no actual human free will because he was a reform apologist. Okay. Now, did you say that we do and can start with autonomous reasoning? Yes, we all do. You said that too. Okay. Okay. No, I did not. Yeah, you did. I have a clip. Sure. I can play no, it. no, you're miss. You are misrepresenting what I said. Okay. You literally now, said, and I quote. Now, I want to ask you a very simple question. I want to ask you, I want to ask you, listen, this is not going to go well for you. Now, <laughs> I want you, I, there is a term, there is a term that Van Til uses regularly that he couples with autonomous reasoning with respect to humans. What is that common terminology that he couples with autonomous Pretty reasoning? Truly? No, no, you're not. You're not understanding. No, no, it. You said last Van, time. Van Van Til Van Til regularly in his writings would couple a certain phraseology, conjuncted with the term autonomous. Okay. Oh, reasoning, autonomous okay? human reasoning is that what you're talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. What is what is what is the phraseology that Van Til used when he was implicating man? When he coupled with the term autonomous, what was it? Autonomous. I, I, I only assume you mean you're talking about autonomous. Human Van Til would autonomous. regularly and ba and Bonson would quote this regularly, too. If you understand, I said this the other day to Matt Yester and he was cherry picked references. That you okay. What I'd like to know, what I'd like to know from you, okay, if you, what is the kind of the terminology that he used conjuncted with the term autonomous that he used to describe and indict the unbeliever? What, what, what is that, what is that terminology conjoined with autonomous? As far as I know, we're talking about autonomous human. So you don't, so you don't, so you don't know. It's, it's, I it's two, it's you. two, it's two words that he attaches before autonomous that he uses as an ap epithet for unbelievers he does so on a regular basis in his lectures and in his writings since you're familiar with van Til's concept okay of autonomous reasoning what is that what is that two word addition to autonomy that he uses no, not sure what you're talking about Darcy. so you don't know do you no i bet there's a lot of things you don't know i could pull okay. out of that so okay so so out. for example okay so you don't know so when when they, so you claimed that you uh, i'm going to tell you why it matters because you're you're a, you're a bullshitter you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to presuppositional apologetics okay you 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 regularly caricaturize it Okay. When you first started doing this in quoting Dan's story, and I sent you that book, you 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 misrepresented it. Okay. Now you you categorically stated you categorically stated in your first video that the presuppositional attitude, okay, from Van Til and those who are like minded, is that an appeal to any evidences whatsoever is shit. Okay, you yeah, you, you conveyed that, that. Too, with yeah the, with the gentleman that, in the room. Okay, right now you 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 stated this several times when you were quoting Dan's story. Do you recall? Um, in his introduction of his apologetic book. You yes, and you quoted him, and you concurred that presupposition, biblical presuppositionalism, as reflective of Van Til, 
said that it is total garbage from that perspective to invoke or appeal to any evidences yes, whatsoever. You don't, you don't okay, that is that is a completely okay. Van Til said the exact opposite, moron. Well, you then, then Van Til and Van okay, Til. Van Til Van Til stated. Do you remember the book I sent you? Yes, I remember the lying apologize. Okay, now me, yeah. and okay in that in that book, in that book, it cited as well as Bonson cited Van Til's position on eminences. Van Til was pro presenting evidences. Okay, are you aware of that? It depends, again, the contradiction. Is no, sir, you stated that the Ventilian position and the biblical presupposition, it's on your first video. Do you remember when you were critiquing my interaction uh, with Shannon Q. Ducklips? Okay. Like, no, this isn't, your, this isn't your room. Yeah, but now, I would like to like actually. Now, what I'd like to know program. from you is, what I'd like to know from you. Do I get to ask? No, be, no, no, uh, Maybe. <laughs> but uh, you, you see, I'm not going to let you run. You can, hey, listen, you can giggle and laugh as you usually do, like you're drunk. Sure, you're it just makes you look foolish. Yeah, yeah, now, I'm listen, ca good. listen carefully. In that, in that video, right? You stated that Van Til and his followers, presuppositionalists, consider present an appeal to evidences as total garbage and evidence. Yes, I still hold to that. I mean, excuse yes, me. Okay, that is not the Van Til's position. That is not Van Til's you position. You just represented that position. That, okay, why did I send you? Listen to me. Listen to me. You affirmed it earlier. If, if, Van Til, if Van Til's position was that, which it is not, why did Tom Notaro write a short book and by the way, Tom Notaro is pro-Van Tilian apologetics. Why did he write a short book explaining precisely that Van Til was not anti-presenting evidences. Yes, he was trying to play apologist for Van Til, who was under... No, no. Did you even read the book? Did you even read the book? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I heard his... Okay, so what is, what is, what is, what is, yeah, Van, what is, Van, what is Van Til's position on evidences, okay? Which one? Okay, what is Van which Til's one? basic position... On appeal to evidences. There's more than one. So which one are you talking no, about? No, sir. Listen, listen, my patience is running out with you because you are being dishonest right now. Dark, if you know, have an understanding, know, if you have an understanding, you're doing what you always do. It's not going to work. Okay. Trust Van me. Til's it's not going to work. Himself. What is Van Til's position on presenting evidences defending things like the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You never capitulate to the reasoning of the atheist in order to present evidences. Okay. No, you said Van Til's position in your original video was that an appeal to evidences whatsoever was shit. Correct. Correct. That, is not, that, that is not, that is not, that is not Van Til's position. Yeah, you have to appeal to reasoning. In order no, to what, no, evidence. listen to me, listen to me. Evidence. I'm going to kick, I'm going to kick you out of the room. Very shortly, if you if you don't stop with your usual with your usual with your usual shtick, okay, dude, no, dude, you have mental problems, okay. If you if I hear you over talk me while I'm talking again, if I hear you over talk me again, I will kick you out of the room. This is what you always do, dude. I whether you whether you believe me or not, when I've listened to you, okay, I really believe that you have mental problems that you're unaware of. Now, listen carefully. Mutual. Ventil never. Okay, goodbye. Okay, you can get the fuck out of here. Okay, I told Bye, you not to over talk. Old Jersey f okay, there, there we have somebody who has serious mental problems. Okay, right? Serious mental problems. Okay. Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube. Okay. If anyone would like to come up, yeah, this, this guy is severely um, mentally deranged. He, do, he, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. When he's questioned, he can't answer certain things about Van Til. Okay. Anyone want to come up? Raise your hand. Agree, disagree on the topic of the room. Sorry about that uh, segue with that mental case, but it happens. Okay, so getting back to you, Sam. Yeah, that this is a guy who's a mental case who who claims he's a Christian. 
Um, he is regularly unhinged, claims that he understands more about theology and apologetics than he does. And he does not really understand Vantillian apologetics while well, he claims to, and he misrepresents and mischaracterizes Van Til's uh, various teachings. Okay, so that's, that's what, what you just heard right there. And I've dealt with him on a number of times before. All right. So, okay, so where did I leave off with you? Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube.